Does putting bigger tyres in your four-wheel drive actually change the fuel economy? When you put bigger tyres in your car, you're essentially changing the gearing of it. You'll do less revolutions per kilometre, but your car will have to work harder to do so. A four-wheel drive, or any car for that matter, should be geared so it stays as close to peak torque RPM as possible for the greatest efficiency. If you have too large of a tyre, the engine will fall below its range of optimal efficiency, thus requiring more fuel to keep you going. For most four-wheel drives, putting on bigger tyres will result in a noticeable difference of power and torque. However, this is sometimes less obvious in diesel cars as they produce large amounts of torque and peak torque in them occurs practically near idle. Putting a bigger tyre on the Pajero requires this engine to work a lot harder and able to turn it. Petrols have a lot less surplus torque, meaning we're going to be using more fuel than a diesel would. Now, if your four-wheel drive has plenty of power, you're probably not going to notice a huge difference in fuel economy. But if your engine has to work harder in order to spin those tyres, you're going to notice a difference. Increasing the width of the tire itself can also impact your fuel economy as you have more tire touching the road, which means you have more resistance, which means you have to use more power, which means you have to use more fuel to keep yourself at that speed. Putting on bigger tires will also raise the car's height, resulting in increased air resistance. Speedo and accuracy. You also have to keep this in mind when you put on bigger tires. If you add 50 mil to your tires, say going from a 31 inch tire to a 33 inch tire, you've effectively changed your speedo rating by about 10%. So when it says you're doing, say, 90 k's, you're doing close to 100 kilometers an hour. And this can vary depending on what car you have. For example, this Pajero was factory out on, I think, 29 inch size tires. Now it's on 32s. The speedo is out by 10 kilometers. And this also means that your odometer will be out by roughly 10%. So when you have done 90 kilometers, you've actually done closer to 99, 100 kilometers. So this is another reason people sometimes think they're getting worse fuel economy. Your fuel economy might not be as bad, but your odometer is reading that it's bad because you're going further than the car actually thinks you're going because you have bigger tyres on. Now, when you do increase your tyre size, you do have to remember all the components that make these spin are going to be under more wear. We're talking CVs, actual shafts, ring and pinion gears within the differential, brakes, drivetrain, transmission. You get the idea. It's all going to wear faster. So as you can see, there are a lot of factors when thinking about putting bigger tyres on your four-wheel drive. So don't rush it, be smart, and pick the tyre that will get the most out of your four-wheel drive.